All right, so uh, I have the panel off. Anybody who's gonna be doing this modern anyway should know how to take the back panels off. If you don't, then don't do it. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to say. So go ahead and turn your ignition on. Beautiful fuel pump. So you have a, so this headlight or the, um, this tail light that I got, I don't know the brand of it. It already came on the motorcycle, it's smoked out. Um, it has a brake light actually already in it. It's integrated into it. So that's where your brake light is, obviously, duh. And then it also has your integrated turn signals as well. So that's the right one. So all you do is, these are the wires, I believe the yellow wires that came with this, with this uh, the subunit right here for the tail light. All you do is you connect these, and I'll, I'll get more into detail in like probably a few minutes. You, all you do is you find the leads that, so you have a positive to, for your tail light and everything like that. You kind of want to ignore that. The difference maker is going to be with the, the, uh, your turn signal lights. So the wiring system that goes back, you need to find which side's left and which one's right, and then where the grounds lead. So essentially that's all you're going to be doing. You're just going to be tying them into those wires already. So if you look at this jumble of wires I have going here, you have, so the reason I have two positive wires is because one is for the turn signals and one is for the brake light. I was going to do, you could do a standing tail light, like the bottom could always be illuminated. And then maybe you could find LEDs that get brighter in red context. And then one, a different row of, of LEDs that go orange, that blink orange for your turn signal or your hazards. They do hazards as well, because that comes stock from the module in the bike. When you turn the hazards on, the orange in the back, and then you just go ahead and just wire those into the same turn signal wire. So that, that activates that module anyway, so you have no issues. But, so, and then you just, I tie, I think I tied the negative, yeah, I tied the negative into one wire because I mean, it's, it's, it's a negative, like it doesn't, you don't need two negative wires and you're not gonna overload the circuit. That's not how that works. So what really sold this mod was the mesh that I put. So you can actually see the six rows of LEDs. There's, there's technically three bunches of them, but there's, there's technically six or two rows per side. So go ahead and flip this over for you guys. So if I press my brake light, it's the ones closest to the left that do that. And then if I press my turn signal, it's the ones on the right that blink and they blink in sequence with that tail light as well. So that's how that works. And just to show you hazards lights, hazards going on, everything blinks as well at the same rate. So that is how that works. So I will be taking this apart and I will show, I will show you guys technically how I jerry-rigged it because it doesn't necessarily have to look neat on the inside of it because it gets shrouded and shielded by this mesh. This mesh you can find on Amazon. It's already custom powder coated red. Um, so that's, I mean, the scheme of my bike is red. I guess you could get it in black if you really wanted it to be, you know. But, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece off because I'm, I'm replacing these back cowls anyways. So I just figured I would do this really quick just to explain to you guys how exactly I do this. So you have three screws now, the bike does not come with screws. It comes with those push rings. Remember the little silver rings? They're wicked, wicked small, extremely thin aluminum. And you press them onto these three points. And that's what holds on this black cover. Okay, so I finally got it off. So this black piece comes stock with the bike. It, it has these fins in it. And it literally just sits underneath the seat like that one. And so I ordered these LEDs off of Amazon. They are able to be cut a lot shorter. I think they come stock seven inches or six inches. And what they do is, well, if they light up because they're freaking LEDs, that is what they do. But I have, I have a row of three that are for, because I wanted the stripe. I didn't want just one big fat LED strip. You could, but I think this looks a lot better, especially from, you know, if, if you're looking from behind definitely looks a lot better and then you have your turn signal as well and yes they both work at the same time so and then again hazards so pretty cool so you can, you can buy these on Amazon uh, you see where the orange is the little orange pieces so once you snip those and once you cut those you don't have to solder them or anything all you do is you just use silicone and you kind of seal them off for the elements because I mean especially if you're gonna be washing your bike 
You're gonna get water underneath there if it's raining out a little bit. Water is going to splash up underneath that. Happens all the time. So you just wanna make it weatherproof and make sure everything's good. Now, the thing that I ran into issues with is the ones for the turn signals, I believe. I think, I think these are the red ones, yeah. The ones for the turn signals are a lot flimsier than these ones, so they're able to flex a little bit more because there is a little bit of a curve to this panel. Um, so these ones didn't do it as well, and also I didn't necessarily trust the adhesive. So it looks a little jank, and there's gonna be so many people that are gonna click off the video right now because I did this, but I JB welded the LED strip in each one just to add a little bit more security because this is a motorcycle, so you'll be going over bumps, potholes, and stuff like that. Maybe stuff you shouldn't be doing, but anyways. Um, and I also had to snip out the cover comes down. You can actually see it. I actually had to snip out probably, yeah, I would say inch long sections to where the LED wires could fit back underneath the panel. And it worked absolutely flawlessly because you can't even see, you can't even see that where the wires are or even if there's any wires whatsoever. So it really, really is foolproof and it looks great. And then as far as the panels go, this is all, so you see the black, you can't see it on the other side. So I cut little divots to make sure that they line up with these bolt holes so they stay in and that's what secures. And then you take these little screws and you just drive these little itsy bitsy screws. This one's a flathead, I don't know why it's not focusing. And then you have to have washers on them because you don't wanna drive these in too hard. You don't wanna split this plastic open you really don't want to you can see it has threads now because i've actually you know i screwed them in by hand do not drill these or impact these in you will hate yourself for it you will shatter the plastic and you'll need plastics all over again so just those little screws with washers go very slow and then back out go slow and back out until they completely seat in nice and snug they will not be making themselves come out and uh yeah so essentially you can't see, if this looks like a mess to you, you can't see it from the outside because it just looks so neat. Everything's all tucked up, which is nice. So that's what I did. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the panels, put everything back together, and then I will show you the final product of what it should look like. Um, if you want tips on how to cut this, you can buy this on Amazon too, it comes in rolls. Um, and a tip to cut this is with, Tin snips, very, very carefully. So what I did was I took, while you have this off, before you set the LEDs up, do these first, do these first. This side is not the same as the other side. So this side, the left side's not the same as the right. If anything, they're just mirrored opposites. So what you do is you take this black piece, before you do any of this to it, literally just take this piece out, undo those little seat clips, the little circle clips, and before you cut these divots and anything, just get the shape of it because it has to look good. You don't want it to look bubbly. You don't want it to look trashy. It's not perfectly as you can see, but it is pretty darn close to being as flush as it can be. So tin snips absolutely saved my day. You can use wire cutters, little pliers if you want. I guess it works, but I had the best, uh, I had the easiest and the, the best results from that. I went through a couple inches of that even just, just you know, cutting it in half by accident, not knowing where the cuts or the folds needed to be. But um, you know what, it has to conform to that piece or it won't fit properly. And then you can go back, once once the seat's nice in that piece, go back and cut the little divots for the, uh, the three screws that are gonna go into the, the clip positions and then you'll be all set. So I'm, like I said earlier, I'm gonna go ahead finish what I'm doing, put the new panels on, put it all back together, and then show you guys exactly what it looks like. This is all you can pretty much see once you take the both seats off, passenger seat. Um, you just see the wires coming in from the back. Kind of see down in there, not really. But I mean, the, the place where you put your registration and stuff like that, like if you take your reg bag, they give you a little reg bag. I took the toolkit out of this, but reg bag just fits right in there. Everything's fine. Everything's torqued down, all these bolts are torqued down, everything's good. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. That's all she wrote, both sides, looks great. Definitely one of my favorite mods to do. 
I watched some guy on a forum years ago do it, and I've been dying to do this. I like the, the red dash, too. Definitely helps. Looks pretty, pretty cool. But that's it. I'll have to chop this video up. If you guys have any, any questions, you guys can ask me in the comments section. Um, everything works. Turn my hazards on. Everything works in conjunction. Absolutely everything. So, that's it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.